guys, this is Mike here. Uh, in today's video, we are going to bring you the ways of flashing the Pixel Experience ROM to the Nexus 6P. Um, I have a video on Nexus 5X on Pixel Experience ROM. The flashing process was pretty standard, so it's not that um, it's not that hard. But for Pixel Nexus 6P, sorry, Nexus 6P, the steps are not to say complicated, but it needs to be followed in a, this, in a certain order in order to have a successful flashing of the Pixel Experience ROM. But um, ultimately, it does have a very good uh, look and feel to it. So ultimately, if you want to have a, um, a Pixel Experience in the Nexus 6P, uh, this is a pretty good way to do so. So let's just get on with it. Okay, I think the first thing that we need to do is to ensure that we have uh, the things ready for us to do the setting. So first of all, uh, what you need to do is to go about phone, build number, developer. Then after that, what you want to do next is to go to develop option. And um, you need to allow OEM unlocking. But this is already unlocked, so it's already checked. So um, if it's not there, you need to check that and then USB debugging. So once you have these two enabled, the next thing you do is to basically just plug in your cable. Then you'll see this uh, message you just allow. Then OK. So once you are done with that, um, then we'll move on to the PC for the setup. OK, so the first thing you need to have is minimal ADB and fast boot. So when you have that installed, just navigate to the folder that you uh, downloaded the stuff. So you do ADB devices to ensure device is connected. So you can see now ADB is connected. So what you want to do next is to do a, a what do you call that? Um, AD, um, reboot to fast boot mode. So it's ADB reboot boot loader. So that will boot your device into fast boot mode. So once your device is in fast boot mode, then you can actually do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected. So at this point of time, if you would want to do your unlocking, it, this is the time to do it. So you can do a fast boot OEM unlock. So please make sure that you have all the uh, data backed up and stuff because this will do a factory reset to your um, to your phone itself so ultimately um, this will erase off everything so once you have backed up you can do a fast boot OEM unlock so when you after you unlock uh, you can follow the entire process through factory reset process and stuff and reboot back into fast boot mode for us to continue right so once you have your phone unlocked you can do a fast boot um, first of all is to actually do a TWRP recovery uh, flashing so you can do a fast boot flash recovery TWRP, but we are flashing the latest version which is 3.310 the angler okay so once this is done we, there's two options that we can do one of them we can boot into recovery via the fast boot or we can actually do a boot from here but so in order to make sure that uh, thing everything goes good we will basically need to make sure that we boot into recovery uh, using the fast boot mode itself so I'll show, let's just move on to the phone Okay, once you have flashed your recovery, you can actually use the volume button to actually boot to recovery mode and press on the power button. These will basically boot your device into recovery mode after you have flashed the recovery, right? Okay, just swipe to allow modification so you'll be in recovery project, right? So from here, you will need to copy in certain files. Just let move on to the PC for copying the files needed. Okay, so once you are in here and you are connected, you can check whether you are connected with ADB devices. As you can see now, we are connected via recovery. So once we are connected, we will need to basically make sure that we copy the files that is needed into it, which is the pixel experience as well as the FBE TWRP, right? So we'll just do a copy and goes into the Nexus 6P right just paste 
and wait for the copy to complete. Okay, so once you have the two files copied in, uh, we are more or less done with the um, steps over in over in the computer. So we will just move the phone for the rest of the setup. Okay, so once you are in the in the uh, phone itself, what you can do is do an install and install the image. Just do an install the image and just this, this image you need to install and select recovery. Then just swipe to confirm flash. So image flash is done. You can go back. Go back, go back. Then once you have done with that, so the next thing you can do is to install the Pixel Experience ROM and you just flash it. Then you just wait for the process to complete. Okay, as you can see now, I think the uh, flashing is done. So what you can do now is to go back and you will need to do a wipe, format data. Do a yes. So once you are done with formatting of data, you can do an advanced wipe. You can wipe everything except for system and data. Right? Then you can just do a swipe to wipe. So once you are done, you can go back. And now you can actually just do a reboot. System. Do not install. So we'll just need to wait for the boot to complete for the first round. Uh, it will normally take a while, so just wait patiently for that to boot up properly. Okay, looks like the thing has been booted up. So just let's get on with the process. Just do a start, do a skip. So if you do encounter the crashing of this setup app, then there might be some steps that you never follow properly in terms of the uh, flashing process. Just remember, everything else is the same. Unlock your phone, flash custom recovery TWRP, copy the files into your device, flash the FPE TWRP inside the TWRP version, uh, flash your ROM. Or before that, before that, after before you copy your files, you need to do a format everything in your phone and copy in the two files, format the, um, flash the FPE TWRP, flash the ROM, format the data. Do a wipe except for system and data and do a reboot. If you follow the step closely, everything else should be okay. I think um, I actually encountered a few times where uh, this thing just like you know um, keep on crashing. So once you have done that step, everything will be good, right? So now we'll skip everything, just skip off everything, skip anyway. So you'll just wait a while for that to happen, and there you go. Pixel experience from right this pixel is really wrong pixel pixel experience from that you have in your Nexus 6 speed so uh, I do have videos for Nexus 5 XML uh, that one is a bit more direct like less uh, issues but that is on beta this on stable version and um, yeah if you want just something which is lightweight which is nice but they included it's just chrome photos and stuff they don't have any other less load and stuff so this is a very pixel light experience in your Nexus 6 speed so yeah that's all i have for today's guy if you like the video i'm doing do subscribe to the channel and ding the notification bell and um if you have any questions just leave your comments down below i'll try my best to answer them for you and that's all for today peace